Behind us, I could hear the sound of gunshots and angry yelling. But as we ran from Yukasagi to Aoga Street, I couldn't hear anything at all. Huh. 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 We're having an awfully bad day, Alba. We really are. I catch my breath and close my eyes. My vision slowly becomes clearer. The dry juice tag painted out in black. The blood stains scattered everywhere. Where did Mizuki go? I wonder if he's okay. Who did this? Maybe another team held a grudge against dry juice or something. Maybe it was morphine. What the hell's going on? Shucks, Alba. A few moments pass and I boil over in vivid anger. No matter the reason, this is unforgivable. Going around and doing things like this. I'm definitely going to find the guys who did this. That's right. I'll go ask my team members if they saw anything. I'm counting on you. I don't know who or what Morphine is, but they've got to be the criminals. If Mizuki and the others are hurt when I catch Morphine, I won't go easy on them. I'll never forgive them for this. Kojaku leaves to go see his other team members, and I head over to Mizuki's shop. Hmm? A message. Please save me, captive princess. Spam? The subject says, please save me. The sender is captive princess. Captive princess? I could have sworn I got a spam message earlier with the same name. Yeah, it's like right there. Huh? It's the exact same thing again. Delete. And delete. Hmm? Another message. Huh? The same thing came again. I quickly delete it. I wonder what's gonna happen now. Oh, shit. Huh? Some serious spam. Eh? Wait. This looks bad. They just keep coming. What the fuck? Confused, I open my bag and start Ren up. Alba! Ren, these messages look like bad news. What virus is it? Wait a moment. I'm investigating it now. Saying that, Ren goes silent. I wait impatiently as the messages keep coming in the whole time. Ren, are you done yet? Analysis completed. There is no virus. And if it is indeed actually a virus, it's had countermeasures installed. So you're saying it's impossible for you to stop these messages from coming in? The sender's address is unidentified. The hell? Are you serious? It would be best to check the contents. Is it gonna be alright? But I have a feeling these messages will never leave me alone. Even my ringtone is starting to tick me off. I got it. Jeez, if you want me to, I'll look already. In an act of desperation, I tap the subject. Huh? And they stop sending. What did I do? Gee, I wonder. I feel uneasy, but read the text inside. There's nothing written. So it really was just spam after all? My coil rings again, but this time it isn't a message. It is a game being transmitted, Alba. A game being transmitted? Oh. Now that I think about it, there was that beta going on for that game before. This must be the next phase. Silent Oath. When it finishes downloading, the title screen shows up on the monitor. It's the same title as last time. Hmm. I'm ready to play, but there's no start button. How do you start this? A few moments later, the screen changes and the game suddenly starts up. 
Even when I try to work the controls on my coil, nothing moves. Ren, it's not working. Isn't it a demo? A demo? What's the point of sending that out? I keep trying to press the control keys and the protagonist starts to move. Did I get it to work? Right as I think I did, I don't touch the controls, but the character continues to move on its own. Uh, oh, looks kind of like Taesan. Oh no. I've got a bad feeling about that. <sighs> what is this? And the night was even blue, actually, now that I think about it in the game. Just like Alba's all blue and stuff. The game looks like it's only half done, so it really was just a demo. What's the point in sending this? Did they make a mistake? I don't get what it's about, either. It looks exactly like one of those quote-unquote deep games. I see. All those messages earlier were like spam, too. A total waste of time. Let's just go home. Let's just go home to find what they've done to Taesong. Because that's going to be fun. I exit out of the game and Ren and I start to walk. As evening approaches, a light, delicious smell begins to float through the streets. So it's dinner time. That reminds me. I wonder if Granny's home. Oh god. I, they're telegraphing it so hard. Something awful is gonna happen. <sighs> Alright, buckle in, kids. We're going on a field trip right now. Around this time of day, from time to time, I go out with some people. Granny. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Ever since I played that game, I've had a bad feeling that won't go away. Me too, Alba. In that game, Granny was stolen away by some black bats. Hmm. Why did that game get sent at such a weird time? Was it by accident? Hmm. Just thinking about it makes my chest hurt, so I try to call Granny from my coil. Shit. It isn't going through. I'll try the home phone. <sighs> Double shit. She's not picking up. I'll try Granny's coil one more time. It's not gonna fucking work. She isn't picking up. But she never really used her coil from the start anyway. Instead of sending me a message, she'd leave a letter by the entryway. That's why she might have gone out knowing that I probably was out with some people. Probably. Definitely. Definitely not. <sighs> Damn it! I try hard not to worry, but I keep thinking about the blood stains scattered everywhere at the dry juice hangout. I think that's what's gotten me so nervous today. I'm thinking too much about not being able to reach Granny, but I can't do this. I'm going home. I'll feel better when I get home and see Granny safe and sound. I make up my mind and run full speed back home. <laughs> Granny? I unlock the door in a frenzy and jump into the house to find it pitch black. The lights aren't on, and it doesn't look like anyone's here. Granny, are you here? Granny? I call for her one more time, but no one answers. This is bad. Feels like I'm losing blood. I feel hot and cold at the same time. The blood stains on the walls of the dry juice hangout. The Granny character that was kidnapped by black bats. Both of those images flicker in my head. What do I do if Granny was... Granny? I need to search for her. I run up the hallway, not even thinking of taking off my shoes. Whoa. I suddenly tripped over something. 
What? What would be so huge that... What? A person? Is it fucking clear who came through the front door because I told him to? A person is lying in the hallway. Could it be... Granny? The person is lying face down and isn't moving. I quiver and catch my breath and timidly get closer to them so I can see. The body is huge. Nothing like Granny. It's probably a dude. I feel a little relieved, but... Who is he? That's an interesting picture. I stare at him and find a tattoo-looking thing on his neck. This thing... This is probably tag art. Besides... Huh. This tag... Morphine. Ugh. Oh. The missing dude. From the lineup. I feel someone's presence and turn around. In the dark hallway, I see a man standing there. He's so large that I have to look upwards. And his intimidating stature makes me unable to move a muscle. But the fear of him having done something to Granny is what scared me the most. Where is Granny? Mm. He doesn't answer. He stares at me with his cool eyes through the darkness. I said, where is she? When I draw closer to him, someone grabs my shoulders from behind. And it wasn't just one person. A bunch of people grab and hold me down. Let me go! Fucking let go! Ah! Oh. Something heavy slams into my stomach, and I stop breathing. Mm. <sighs> the giant man's fists that look like clumps of shadow sink into my gut. I start to fall forward. I can't breathe. My vision starts to fade into darkness. Damn it. Not here. Granny. Granny.